Okay, this is going to be a, a quick Fusion 360 instructional video. I get asked all the time about different ways to draw in Fusion 360 as well as some of the CAM operations. Now my next project is to build, is to machine some of these uh, X and Z stepper mounts. And on, on the bottom here I have to machine this edge. The amount of material left here is only going to be an eighth of an inch, so I need some way to hold this. So what I decided to do was make a set of soft jaws for my Char's 4 inch vise. Something like this. Now these soft jaws are an inch and a quarter tall. And I'm also going to make a set an inch and a half tall. So let's get started. Now there are several ways you can do this and I'm going to just show you this is the quickest simplest way to draw this up that I've found. I'm sure there's other ways but this seems to be the simplest. So first we're going to go to create a box and we're going to select this back plane here. Okay. Get to the front view here okay so it's going to be 1.5 inches tall and four inches long now we have our box it's going to be 0.7 inches thick we're going to use a piece of three quarter inch stock and surface the uh, faces going to click OK. So that's one step. Then next we're going to create a box again. We're going to select this side here. We're going to go to this top corner and it's going to be 0.1875 by 0.124 like this and then we're just going to go across and that will cut out our notch go back to the front here next we need to put a couple of holes so we're going to go create a hole we're going to select this front face here now we're going to do a counter bore Our diameter is going to be 0.37. Our counter bore diameter is going to be 0.555. Okay. Our angle here is 180. It will give us a flat bottom. depth is only going to be 0.72. Now our counterboard depth is 0.5125. Okay. Now, now that we have all those parameters, if you move over this edge, you can see that it puts a dimension there. So we're going to click on this edge, and for that dimension, it's going to be 0.75. And if you move on this line, it'll give you another dimension. You can click that, and that's going to be uh, 5 eighths of an inch, 0.625. And then we can click OK. And now we have our hole in the correct location. That's step three. And step four, we're going to put a second hole over here. And it keeps the same parameters we had before. So now all we have to do is just hover over these lines. That's 
0.625 and hover over this line, 0.75. Click OK. And now we have our soft jaws drawn up. Pretty simple and straightforward. So now that we have it drawn, I'm just going to do some cam operations. Now for those of you who are like me that do not have a power draw bar, I'm going to try to avoid any tool changes and just try to do everything with one tool. So first thing we need to do is go to new setup and we're going to change to this. I like to use this top corner here because that is the fixed edge of my vise. By default, Fusion 360 gives you a little stock on all the edges so you can machine that off, but we're going to do that prior to doing these functions. We're going to machine it to size, so I'm going to get rid of that. It's going to actually be inch and a half by four inches. The first thing we're going to do is 2D, and we're going to do a boring operation. I'm going to be using a 3 16 inch end mill, two flute. I already have that set up in my tool table. Tool number 15 for me. I'm going to select my geometry. Now you notice once I put the tool information in, all of my feed rate for that particular tool that I have set up is already in there. So the next little tab over here is our geometry, which geometry we're going to machine. I'm going to do this bottom hole here. Now notice it starts at the whole bottom and not the top of the stock. So that's not good. We're going to make sure we fix that. So that is in the next tab for heights. Our top height, instead of the whole top, we're going to select stock top. Now you can see that it moved the operation all the way to the top. And the bottom, we're going to go just a little bit past the whole bottom. So we're going to go minus 0 0.0, 0 five thousandths below the bottom. It'll be held in a vise so it's, it can punch through. It'll be okay. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, our next tab is our passes. The pitch here, I like to change this. It's about 40 thousandths. I like to change it to about 30 thousandths. Gives just a little bit finer pitch there. Whoops, I got out of that. And then our next thing here is uh, our linking our safe distance. I'm not going to change any of that. I'll leave that the way it is. Okay. So we can simulate that. You can see it's going to go down and just machine that hole all the way down. Punch through. That'll be our center hole. You could dr use a drilling operation, put in a drill bit and drill this out. But I'm just trying to do it all with the same tool. Our next operation is to do the counter bore. So we'll do 2D boring again. And this time we'll have the same tool. For our geometry, we'll select this and this. It'll be the whole top. That's okay. And then again, we'll change this pitch to 0 0.3, 0 0.03. You can see it moved just a little bit. And our linking will be the same. So now we have the two operations there. We can click here and simulate this. And then 
we do our counter bore. Okay. And then last but not least, we need to do this groove on the side here. And we're going to do that with a contour, so 2D contour. We're going to select that line right there, this edge. Again, we're going to use the same tool. That edge, our heights are OK. Passes should be fine. And on the linking, I'm going to change this linear lead-in distance to 0.1875. And I'm also going to ramp. Get this where you can see it. So the ramp angle is two degrees and the maximum ramp step is going to be 0 0.05. And then our ramp clearance above the stock here, we're going to change that to 0 0.01. Let's see what we've got now. Okay. All right, I have the height right, but it looks like I'm taking a little bit too much material per pass. So what is this warning? Okay, we've got a warning, a caution here. Click on that. Okay, it says the open passes are linked in both ways with the zigzag ramp. That's because we're machining both ways, so we're going to edit that. And right here, we're going to select both ways. And then on the linking, I'm going to change this to 0 0.025. Oops. Okay. And that looks a lot better. All right. Now we'll check this machining operation out. It's going to go back and forth, back and forth and machine that flat. All right, that looks pretty good. And now we can take this out to the machine and actually machine this out. Now in order to process the cam, I get questions all the time. What cam processes do you use? Um, so I'm gonna click on this to process our cam. Make sure you have this turned blue here and it'll include all of your operations. Okay, some error there, I don't know. So I use Mach 3 mill for the milling machine. We're going to call this Shars 4 inch. Maybe not let me put the quotes in there. Uh, soft jaws. We'll put one five for an inch and a half. Now right here are some items that you can customize for your post processes. Uh, do you want to use a G28? I do not. Do you, you want to use an M6 macro? I do not because I'm not doing a tool change with this particular G code. Um, do you want to use sequent numbers and do you want to show them? I do not like to use sequent numbers or show them. So I turn that off. So I'm going to select post. I can save it there. And 
here is our G code. We've got our spindle turning off, our coolant turning off. It's tool number 15, then our spindle comes on, our coolant comes on, and we move to our first operation here. And then once we're complete, our coolant turns off and our spindle turns off and Z moves to 0.6. I like to change this to at least a couple inches above Z so that I can reach in there and take the part out or look at it. So once you make any corrections, you can hit File, Save, and there you go, you're all set. So for those interested in knowing how to simply draw up something in Fusion 360, you can see we only used four simple steps to create our, create our soft jaws. Thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to make suggestions, ask questions, and leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stop by and visit the website. And most importantly, be safe.